Good morning. Welcome to Buddhist Society of Victoria's Robe Offering Ceremony event. My name is Lai Puan. I have the honor to host you this morning. I'll be guiding you through the program today. Before we start, let's us first acknowledge the traditional custodian of country throughout Victoria and their connection with the land, sea, and community. We pay respect to the elders, past and present, and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples today. Okay, um, this is our very first virtual rope offering ceremony via Zoom, which is also live stream on BSB YouTube channel. There are a few housekeeping matter which we need to address in the beginning for a smooth running of the proceedings. Okay. I can even go to the room name. Can Please mute your mic on the Zoom screen and kindly keep your mobile on silent during the whole event. This event will be recorded as, as well as streamed live on the BSV YouTube channel. Today's event has two parts. Part one of the event will take us to about 10 a.m. It will start with the five precepts by Ayo Pekka, followed by a Dharma talk by Achan Nisarano. After the Dharma talk, the two lay devotees who are currently residing in, at MBN will offer the main ropes and requisites on behalf of all of us to the senior monk and the senior nun. The, bante, the MBN Bantes and Aya will then give us a blessing chanting, which include the sharing of merits. Part one will conclude with a closing message from the president of BSV. At around 10 a.m., we'll commence our part two of this event. Zoom participants will either join a Q&A session with the monks or a live one-to-one -one rope offering linked up session in a separate Zoom meeting with Achan Nisarano or Ayopeka. Those who have registered for the one-to-one -one session will leave this meeting and rejoin using a separate Zoom code, which was sent to you in the confirmation email yesterday. The rest of the participants will remain at this Zoom meeting and will are welcome to ask questions uh, of the MBN monks. We have uh, Bante Arana Vihari, Bante Chunda, and Bante Chittapalo. The Q&A session will be for another 30 minutes from 10 to 10.30. We would like to emphasize that all the sessions in this event are conducted in a COVID safe environment, the monks and the nuns, and also the lay devotee participating in this ceremony and the blessing chanting are all residing at MBN. They are part of MBN bubble and therefore complying with the COVID safe guideline. Finally, as this is our very first Rome offering event, we apologize if there's any unexpected technical hiccups which might occur during the event. I now invite Adrian T, the president of BSV, to deliver the opening message. Over to you, Adrian. Okay, I got it. Now. Thank you, Lai, for the uh, opening for the opening mess for for for, it, for emceeing this event. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Good morning, venerables, the BSV members and supporters of the BSV MBM. I wish you all well and staying safe. And thank you for everyone for joining us this special robe offering ceremony, which is about to start at our monastery in Newbury. This year has been a very special year for the BSV MBM community and indeed an, an auspicious one too. The monks, uh, the monk Sangha house and five monk kutis have been completed this year, just in time for the Vasa, and have been blessed with the occupancy of five monks, 
as soon as they were ready to move in. On behalf of the BSB committee and community, we are very thankful and grateful to Ajani Sarano, Bhante Arana Bihari, Bhante Tunda, Bhante Bodhidaja, and Bhante Chittapala for their grace observing the Vasa rain retreat at MBM. We are also very happy that the nuns community at MBM has grown to six female monastics by the end of the Vasa period. On behalf of the BSV committee and community, we are very thankful and grateful to Aya Opeka, Aya Suvira, Aya Sela, Aya Sankapa, Samaniri Santa and Samaniri Sunata, Sunata for observing their Vasa rain retreat at Newbury Buddhist Monastery and strengthening the nuns' community. To the lay supporters, Richard Kum, Ranjani De Silva, Tinglotan, who have also spent the Vasa period in NBM, supporting the monk Sangha and the nuns' Sangha during this period. We thank you for your kind support and devotions to the Sangha at NBM. Thank you to the fourfold assembly for observing this year Vasa at Newbury Monastery. And also for the committee who, and also the committee would like to thank all the diakas and supporters for their generous donations that went into providing the four requisites to support the monks and nuns Sangha practice at the monastery during, during this period, despite of the difficult movement due to the restrictions. Thank you, thank you very much. And to all our members and supporters supporting in this morning auspicious celebration, the committee welcome you and thank you for your kindness and generosity in supporting the BSV and the MBM community. May all the diacars and supporters and all of you have much merit from this wholesome support. Without delay, we shall now commence our rope offering ceremony live from Newbury Buddhist Monastery. I will pass the mic to Ajani Sarano to begin with the proceedings. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian, uh, for that address. And on behalf of the monks and the nuns, the lay uh, community here at uh, a Newbury Buddhist Monastery, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to this virtual 2020 um, robe offering ceremony here at uh, Newbury Buddhist Monastery outside Melbourne in Australia for those who are, are watching from afar. And I'm sure the visual impact you will have as we have here is, isn't it wonderful? There are so many monks and nuns who have spent the three months rains retreat here together. This is wonderful, quite amazing. And uh, now uh, Chin Luk, uh, we'll ask for the three refuges and five precepts from Io Paker, the most senior nun at the monastery. So please join in at home, but make sure that your mic is muted or off. Uh, otherwise, it will be difficult for others to, for, to hear this ceremony this morning. So thank you very much. And I pass over to uh, Chin Luk and uh, Aya Upeka. Thank you. Mayam Ae P. Saranena Saha Kancha Silani Yachama Dutiam P. Mayam Ae P. Saranena Saha Pancha Silani Yachama Tatiam P. Mayam Ae P. Saranena Saha Pancha Silani Yachama Right, please repeat after me. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa 
Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambudasa. Namo tasa arahato bhagavato arahato sama sambudasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambudasa. Bhutang saranang gachami. Budang saranang gachami. Dhammang saranang gachami. Dhammang saranang gachami. Sanggang saranang gachami. Sanggang saranang gachami. Dutiampi butang saranang gachami. Duti ampi budang saranang gacami. Duti ampi damang saranang gacami. Duti ampi damang saranang gacami. Duti ampi sanggang saranang gacami. Duti ampi sanggang saranang gacami. Duti ampi but Tang saranang gacami, tatiampi budang saranang gacami, tatiampi damang saranang gacami, tatiampi damang saranang gacami, tatiampi sanggang saranang gacami, tatiampi sanggang saranang gacami. Sarana Gamanang Nitang Ama Ai. Now we take the five precepts. Please repeat after me. Pana Tipata Veramani Sika Padang Samadi Ami. Pana Tipata Veramani Sika Padam Samadi Ami. Adina Dana Veramani Sika Padam Samadi Ami. Adina Dana Vera Mani Sika Padam Samadiami Kame Sumichachara Vera Mani Sika Padam Samadiami Kame Sumichachara Vera Mani Sika Padam Samadiami Musavada Veramani Sika Padam Samadiami Musavada Veramani Sika Padam Samadiami Sura Meraya Majapan Madatana Veramani Sika Padam Samadiami Sura Meraya Majipamadatana Veramani Sika Padam Samadhyami Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. So now we will all chant together the recollection of the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. Everybody to chant together. Iti piso bagawara hang sama sambuto vidya charna sampanno sugato loka vidu anuttaro purisa dhamma sarati satta deva manusanang puto bagawati. Swakato Bhagavata Dhammo Samdittiko Akaliko Ehipasiko Opanaiko Pachatam Veditambo Vinyuhiti Supati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sangho Ujubati Panno Bhagavato Savaka Sangho 
ನ್ಯಾಯಪತಿಪನ್ನೋ ಭಗವತ ಸಾವಕ ಸಂಗೋ ಸಾಮೀಶಿಪತಿಪನ್ನೋ ಭಗವತ ಸಾವಕ ಸಂಗೋ ಯರಿದಿ ಪುರುಷಯುಗಾನಿ ಆತ್ತುರುಷ ಪೋಗಲ ಭಗವಂತ ಸಾವಕ ಸಂಗೋ ಆಹು ನೈಯೋ ಪಾಹು ನೈಯೋ ದಾಕಿ ನೈಯೋ ಅಂಜಲಿ ಕರಣೀಯೋ ಅನುತ್ತರ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಲೋಕ ಸಾಧಿ Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. And now we'll hand the mic over to Ajahn Nisarano for a Dhamma talk. There we are. So thank you very much, Aya. And uh, now we'll have the, it's called an end of rains uh, message, rains retreat message and a Dhamma talk. So it'll be for about 20 minutes because we don't have so much time this morning. And I was thinking, hasn't this been such a difficult year, uh, 2020? for uh, everyone hasn't it been <laughs> what were the bushfires and the covid-19 restrictions that we've been living with and one wonders what's coming next but i always keep in mind what ajahn brahm says too and he says this is an opportunity for us to practice the dhamma and of course it is and it makes me reflect that this year has been a lot of firsts were well, a few firsts for uh, Newbury Buddhist Monastery and the first of course is that there's such a large Sangha here that spent the Vasa here. As I mentioned there's uh, six, uh, Adrian mentioned that there are six nuns and five monks and three lay people, two laymen and one lay woman. So a total of 14. So it's quite impressive and I'm sure you're getting that from the, the visuals here. And as our president Adrian T mentioned a big first for this year was of course the completion of the new monks area and uh, the fact that there were uh, five monks staying the vasa so all the accommodation has been full, filled um and so this is this is a wonderful thing because this accommodation is a very comfortable uh, excellent for practicing the dhamma and it has get, contributed to the rains retreat being very peaceful and very uh, productive and what's more with the new uh, monks area we have a better separation between the two communities the bikuni, bikuni community the nuns community and the monks community and at the same time it keeps also the uh, vinaya requirement one of the rules of the buddha that the bikunis the fully ordained nuns shouldn't live too far from the monks so this is really wonderful and a big a big sadhu to all those that contributed to making the new monk section possible whether they be big contributions small contributions wonderful that's great and the third thing i think uh, that came to my mind that's been a plus for this year a first you could say is so much of the teachings this year has been online by necessity <laughs> and this is uh, something that the buddha society has handled very well particularly the operations technical operations team in uh, the bsv in town as we can say in melbourne but also the technical operations team here you know the monks and the nuns and lay people lay people who help with the uh, broadcasting of the teachings we've been giving and it's a wonderful support isn't it in a time like this you know a stressful time to have the reminders of the dhamma and this year has really um i think it's been a blessing from the internet that there's been so much access to the dhamma so that people and they've had more time people have more time because of the restrictions to listen to the dhamma and hopefully because of the situation practice the dhamma because we really need the dhamma support the protection of the dhamma and practicing it we, that's how we protect ourselves by practicing it so i just like to mention what is the purpose first for about the rains retreat because we're talking about that and of course it is a three month annual uh, meditation retreat and where the monks and nuns do as little traveling as possible only that which is absolutely necessary and this is uh, been very easy because of the covid-19 restrictions we can't go anywhere <laughs> and um so 
for in many ways, our annual range retreat is already like a lockdown. It's like a lockdown. So from uh, the full moon in July to the full moon in October, we have the uh, annual range retreat, which we all, uh, most everyone looks forward to very much when it comes, because we can focus, the purpose of the range retreat is to focus on our practice, uh, particularly meditation, but also study and most importantly, con contemplation. And I'd like to, it's very nice to see that uh, every monk, every nun and every lay person staying here in the monastery for the rains retreat had the opportunity to have a two week personal retreat. And because of that, because the conditions, the facilities, it's been a very peaceful and very harmonious rains retreat and no big problems uh, at all. It's very interesting. I've seen over my 23 years of living in, 24 years living in the monastery, how rains retreats tend to attract problems. <laughs> they just come up, you know, health problems, deaths, either in the sangha or in one's relatives or, or amongst the supporters, things happen. But this rains retreat was even quieter than usual due to the COVID-19 restrictions because we were unable to have donors bring food to the monastery. So we relied very much on the donations, financial donations to the monastery, which were used to order food from the uh, supermarket, one of the supermarkets not far away, which would deliver here. So a big sadhu for all those who donated uh, in this way, made financial monetary donations so that we can, we could have the food for the, uh, we could use it for preparing food for the uh, sangha. And also to those who brought food here when the restrictions allowed. And it really, I mean, I was often very impressed and, uh, you know, uh, appreciated or these, this support. It's a very tangible, tangible support, very necessary support. And as I mentioned, most of the cooking here was done in-house. So it was, that kept it very, uh, very um, quite calm, quiet. So what is the robe offering ceremony or katina? katina? And I think most of the people here know otherwise you, what, is it, what it is about, otherwise you wouldn't be watching it. <laughs> it marks the end of the rains retreat, which I just spoke about, and the beginning of the robe offering uh, season. This is one month after the rains retreat. And uh, the katina usually happens during that month. Um, at the time of the Buddha, cloth was... Uh, the Lord Buddha, the cloth was something hard to come by. So these katinas uh, and the offering of uh, robes and robe cloth was very, very important uh, for the Sangha. And um, the important thing too with the katina is that it is initiated. It comes from the lay community. This is a very important uh, aspect of it. And as I mentioned, it focuses on the offering of robes, ready-made robes, or cloth. And this in the very traditional monasteries in the Buddhist world, in Thailand, in Sri Lanka, in Burma, uh, monks would and nuns would uh, make the robe, one robe, and dye it before the dawn of the next day. Sometimes it would run very late, as I've experienced myself in Bodhinyana. So... Um, and then uh, the Sangha would choose one member of the, uh, the Sangha to receive that robe. And this would be somebody who's made a large a contribution to the Sangha, you know, through teaching or other aspects of, uh, their, of, their, of what they've contributed. So why do we call this a robe offering ceremony and not a katina? Everybody else, many people will be calling it a katina anyway. <laughs> But for a katina, many katina, many conditions apply. And uh, one of the most uh, important ones in Thailand, you need five uh, fully ordained monks or nuns who've spent the vasa in a monastery uh, without a break. Um, but in Sri Lanka, of course, we have a different approach, which is that if there are five fully ordained monastics, monks or nuns at a ceremony, then that constitutes a katina. So that's the differences there. And today I'd like to, I reflected that uh, 
in Thailand, they often have, it's quite a nice idea, actually, they have a Buddha day during the year, the Buddhist year, they have a Dhamma day and a Sangha day. The Buddha day obviously is Vesak, isn't it, when the Buddha became was born, became awakened, and also passed away. Dhamma day, of course, what would that be? That's the first teaching, isn't it? But the next one, Sangha day in Thailand, is not what you would expect. It's, a, uh, it's the full moon in February, Magha Puja, Magha Puja, when uh, 1,250 Arahants, not bad, came together spontaneously to see the Buddha. Um, but really, the first teaching is actually when the, the Sangha was initiated, when it began, with the first five disciples. Uh, so that is, that is uh, very important. But I would like to add an extra day to these three, and that would be the fourfold Buddhist community day. And what, what day is that? It's the robe offering ceremony or the katina. It's really the, when the whole community comes together I just mentioned what the fourfold Buddhist community is. If you think, what is he talking about? <laughs> and first of all, it's the fully ordained monks, the bhikkhus, and the novice monks, the fully ordained nuns, bhikkhunis, and the novice nuns. It's the laymen, we say in Pali, upasikas, and the lay women, upasikas. So this is the four uh, fold or four aspects of the Buddhist community. And here at Newbury, we have a very rare situation where we have all four. We have the monks, the nuns, the laymen, and the laywomen. Most communities don't have that. They don't have the bhikkhuni sangha there. And it's very interesting to see that the Buddha um, mentions in his teachings that the, the teachings are not complete unless there is the fourfold sangha is established, well established in the Dhamma and able to pass that Dhamma on. And, and we also, you may remember in the, uh, when the Buddha was, the Lord Buddha was passing away, his Parinibbana in the Parinibbana Sutra, that he mentions that he would pass away only once the four-fold uh, community was well established in the Dhamma. And seeing that it was, he renounced the life principle and passed away three months after that. So this is, and one of the important aspects of this community is really how they interact, how they come together. And this is, this is how they function, but how they support the Buddha's teaching, a sasana. And they've done this for 2,500 years, so it really works. And what the Lord Buddha mentions, the, the mechanism for this functioning, this working together, is this mutual support between the sections of the Buddhist community, mutual support, and the monks and nuns providing a spiritual support and the lay community providing material support. That's the basic of it. And you can see very much that we need to rely on each other for that, uh, to, that, for that to work, for the teachings to be passed on for the realization of the Dhamma. And very much, very much this robe offering ceremony or katina is, uh, is a celebration. It's a day for celebrating. What are we celebrating? We're celebrating giving dana. This is a very important aspect. You know, I mentioned with the giving of material things. And this, is, of course, is robes as we'll have today. And this is very traditional at the robe offering ceremony. Our food vital, these, all these are vital actually, shelter like the new monk section and medicines at a time of sickness. And the giving, that's the gift from the lay community, but the gift from the Sangha is this, this spiritual support. And uh, so this day is celebrating giving, but it's also celebrating thankfulness or gratitude. We say katanyuta in Pali and uh, for all that we've received, that's easy for the Sangha, <laughs> and, uh, um, and the achievement so far. Because for the Sangha, we can be thankful for the vital, we'd say a lifeline, really, of support from the lay community. And that's what uh, is so important for us to be able to practice the Dhamma, realize the Dhamma, and pass the Dhamma on. So it keeps the Sangha going. And also... Thankful, uh, thankfulness from the side of the lay community 
for the teaching and guidance that they we have they've received you know from the sangha so that's very important but one of the things that a, a talk like this focuses on is of course the the importance or the benefits or often the the pali word for benefits is anisangsa of the robe offering ceremony or katina and i know from my experience in sri lanka i remember one uh, occasion when i was staying in an ancient cave monastery in the southeast of sri lanka the chief monk he gave a talk and it was just a list of all the, all the people that have donated things you know a water tank a water pump and water is an issue there uh and these sorts of things it was just like a, a list you know i was actually quite touched because i thought it's very nice because it's a form of gratitude acknowledgement but a form of gratitude too and then the next talk after his talk was by another monk and it was about the benefits the anisangsa of giving uh, for the katina and on other occasions too so what are the uh, benefits or the importance of the robe offering ceremony or katina today and of course as i mentioned giving is a big part of it and the buddha mentions giving he mentions giving offering and sacrificing as part of right view so it's an important part of the path and it's a part it uh, is a, an aspect of renunciation so when we renounce things we are renouncing in the sense of looking for our inner happiness looking for happiness inside and not outside most people are looking for happiness from the five senses seeing hearing smelling tasting and touching but when we give and we give wholeheartedly we are looking for our happiness from within and of course this is an aspect of practicing the path and very much for those who have not entered the path and not arrived at the first stage of enlightenment the qualities we need to develop are faith virtue learning generosity which giving is the big part of and wisdom and so i reflect that giving is a very important aspect of it and one of the teachings by the buddha the lord buddha he mentions eight reasons for it i won't tell you all those reasons because there's not enough time but just to mention that it leads to a good rebirth um possibly in a heavenly existence it brings gladness and happiness and that it beautifies the mind so we're making good karma or making merit not only for this life but for future lives but it's good to keep in mind that giving is what i call quality control for this life and next our future lives in the sense whatever existence we have we take whatever life where we take our next life or uh, whatever form it takes it will be a good quality but what determines where we are reborn of course is virtue so the buddha is always emphasizing our virtue our ethical behavior with giving this is the powerful a combination so these this is very important to keep in mind for the uh, one of the benefits of this uh spiritual benefits of the uh, robe offering ceremony or katina it also brings a lot of sense of connection and joy as as uh, between the lay community and the uh, the monks and nuns it's very important and it brings a sense of harmony too we have to work together and i can tell you that this uh, virtual robe offering ceremony took a lot of work for a lot of people especially our technical operations people in town and also the technical team here and adrian will adrian our president will mention some of the people involved in that so that's very important and also it's good to reflect on all the hard work of the bsv that they've done over the uh, to make this uh, make the buddha society of victoria run so that it can actually fulfill uh, its its objectives which is to to spread the teachings of the buddha Uh, and to make the dhamma available to as many people as possible and they spend a lot of energy long hours doing that I, I, these committee meetings go on for hours so just to summarize the most important benefits is just to of uh, that giving oft, often brings it uh, if we are wholeheartedly it brings happiness and it can uh, then from bringing happiness that is a condition 
for the mind coming together in meditation. We can use this happiness of giving for our practice of meditation. And once there is that unification of mind, then it's possible to get insight, then it's possible to become liberated, the mind to become liberated. So when we develop uh, that happiness, we uh, part of our practice is to develop it deliberately, to focus, to remember, to reflect on our generosity. And this is called chaganusati. And I'd like to give you a very good example of this, uh, which is close to where I'll finish off. And that was Visaka, uh, one time uh, Visaka, the chief um, female lay disciple of the Buddha, asked the Lord Buddha for eight favors. Interesting, isn't it? And the Buddha commented, Visaka, Buddhas are, be are beyond granting favors. But he asked her, nevertheless <laughs> what she wanted to ask. And she asked if she could give eight things. And uh, she mentions, you know, uh, uh, offering cloth for bathing for monks and nuns, foods for monks when they arrive for the first time in Savati where she lived, offering food for sick monks and their uh, uh, attendants who look after them and offering medicine for sick monks in Savati. And then also uh, offering a regular supply of rice gruel, konje or in Sri Lanka, kanda. And then the, the Lord Buddha asked her for her reasons for requesting these eight favors. And she gives a very good practical list of the anisangsa, the benefits to the sangha. But then the, the Buddha asks her, the Lord Buddha asks her, well, what are the benefits you foresee for yourself, Visaka? And she says that when she hears that a monk has passed away and that he has attained a stage of awakening, this is the four stages, she will ask whether that monk came to Savati where she lived. And if he did, she will know he will have received at least one of her gifts. And then this is the most important thing, her own words. And when I remember it, I shall be glad. And when I'm glad, I shall be joyful. When my mind is joyful, my body will be tranquil. When my body is tranquil, I shall feel happiness. When I feel happiness, my mind will become unified or still. That will bring the development of the spiritual faculties. This is conviction or faith, energy, mindfulness and stillness and wisdom. And then she continues. And also the development of the spiritual powers. And these are the same faculties, but developed to a, a greater uh, strength. And lastly, and the enlightenment factors, which will bring enlightenment. So this is mindfulness, investigation of mind states, energy, joy, tranquility, stillness, and equanimity. And these are the factors that lead, the meditative factors that lead to awakening. And then she concluded, this Lord is the benefit I foresee for myself in asking these eight favors of the perfect one. And he says, good, good, Visaka, the enlightened one replied, it is good that you asked the perfect one for these eight favors, for seeing these benefits, I grant you these eight favors. So this is a very good example for us. How do we can use the happiness of today, of any occasion where we give for our practice, and particularly the practice of meditation, just to brighten the mind so it can, becomes a condition for the mind to come together, to see clearly, and then to develop the stages of awakening to liberate the mind. So I'd like to thank you for that and uh, encourage all of us to use the offerings today for this sense of joy, sense of happiness in our practice. And it will be also very uplifting for our emotional states too. So thank you very much for that. And now, uh, and now I would like to hand over to Lai, uh, our MC. Thank you. Thank you, Ajahn. We will now proceed with Chin Luk and Ranjani offering a robe and requisites to the senior monk and nun on behalf of the entire male and female lay community. These gifts represent all offerings which, we, which have been given so generously online for this special occasion. I now pass you back to the official rope offering ceremony at the monastery in 
Newbury. Namo tassa bhagavato arehato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa bhagavato arehato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa bhagavato arehato samma sambuddhasa on behalf of ourselves and the lay community, we ask the Sangha for forgiveness for any act of body, speech or mind that has upset the venerable monks and nuns before or during the rains retreat. We forgive you. Please forgive us if we have upset you through any action of body, speech, or mind before or during the rain's retreat. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. On, On behalf, behalf of ourselves and the lay community, we forgive the venerable monks and nuns. Each of us participating today, having purified our minds and hearts of negativity and misunderstanding, it is now time, now a suitable time, to make an offering of robes and other gifts to the Sangha. May the joy of giving at a time like this be of great merit and benefit to you all. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma samudrasa. Namo tassa bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa Upakasa Mayamati Imani Chivarani Sataravarani Sangasa Dema Dutiampi Upakasa Mayamati Imani Chivarani Saparamarani Sangasa Devana Patiyampi Okasa Mayam Bhaye Imani Chivarani Saparamarani Sangasa Devana Venerable monks and nuns, may we offer this roast together with this other offering to the Sangha. Sadhu. Having received the gifts from the lay community, the MBN monastic will now give blessing, their blessings. The traditional Buddhist chants, which will be recited shortly, remind us of the teachings of the Buddha. They serve to share the merits of our good deeds with our relatives, families, friends, and all sentient beings. Samanta Chakavale Su Atraga Chantu Devata Sandam Mang Muni Rajasa Sunantu Sagamokadang Parita Savana Kalo Ayam Badanta Parita Savana Kalo Ayam Badanta Parita Dhamma Savana Kalo Ayam Badanta Namo Tassa 
ังสัตติงอดิเทยบรามเมตังวิหารังอิดามาลุอิทิงชาอนุปดัมมาสีลาวะดัสเนนัสัมปันโนกามิสุบินเอยเกตังนัยจัตุกัมปเสยัมปุณารจิตติเอเทนัสัญชาวานเจนะตุกัมบุปัสสมินตุเตเอเทนัสัญชาวานเจนะปายาบุปัสสมินตุเตเอเทนัสัญชาวานเจนะโรคาบุปัสสมินตุเตเอทาวะทาชะอัมเหิสัมปตังปุญญาสัมปตังสัพเพเดวะอนุโมดังตุสัพเพสัมปติสิเดียเอทาวะทาชะอัมเหิสัมปตังปุญญาสัมปตังสัพเพบุตาอนุโมสิเดียเอตาบัตาชะอัมเหิสัมปตังปุญญาสัมปดังสัพเพสัตตาอนุโมดังตุสัพเพสัมปติสิเดียอาคาสัตตานชะบุมัตตาเดวานาดามะหิดิกาปุญญังทังมนุโมดิทวะชิรังรักขันตุสัสนัมอาคาสัตตาชะบุมัตตาเดวานากามะหิดิกาปุญญังทังมนุโมดิทวะชิรังรักขันตุเดสนัมอาคาสัตตาชะบุมัตตาเทวานากามะหินดิกาปุญญังตังมนุโมดิทวะชิรังรักขันตุทวังสัตตาอิดังโวนยาทินังโหตุสุขิตาหงตุญาตโยอิดังโวนยาทินังโหตุสุขิตาหงตุญาตโยอิดังโวนยาทินังโหตุสุขิตาหงตุญาตโย May you abide in well-being, in freedom from affliction, in freedom from hostility, in freedom from ill will, in freedom from anxiety, and may you maintain well-being in yourself. วิวาดัมสิลิสนิจังบุญดานปัจจายโนชาตารุดัมมาวันดันติอายุวันโนสุขังบาลังอายุวโรมิยสัมปติสัจยสัมปติเมวะเจอัตโนิมานะสัมปติอิมิณาเจสัมิจัตตุสาดุสาดุสาดุ It is so inspiring and uplifting to have the presence of the community of monks and nuns, sangha offering us their blessing and sharing our merits together. It's so wonderful to see such a sight and. Uh, Hope it brings a lot of inspira spiritual inspiration to every one of us here today. Thank you, venerables, for making this vein retreat a very special one. As we are coming to the end of the first part of this event, the BSV committee <clears throat> is very grateful and very and we sincerely thank the mighty 
AV team led by Srija Vimalajiva, assisted by Landon Roda, Kanding, Bali, Su Chong, and Samaneri Santa. Special mentions should also go to Bhante Arani Bihari, Bhante Buridaja, Bhante Chunda for the support with the setup and testing of the audio video components. And thank you to Ajani Sarano and Al Pekka for guiding us to the spiritual process of this. The BSV MBM AV team together with the MBM Monastery have worked very tirelessly over the last few weeks, spending lots of hours investigating, testing, and putting together the various technical process, rather technical components and processes. This has ensured a great degree of smooth and seamless virtual event this morning. What an excellent job. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu to this wonderful group of people and the monastic for their mighty team effort. Thanks also to go to Lai for the wonderful coordination of this event and for putting it all together. It involved quite a bit of patience and complications on the part to succeed. Not forgetting the skillful emceeing this morning. To the other BSP committee member, thank you for your feedback, assistance and support which included testing the systems and processes in the lead up to this event. <clears throat> Thank you everyone for participating in this event, online robe offering ceremony, and for making this event a special one for all of us under these current circumstances. We have never done this before, and your participation has made this such a wonderful joy. Great seeing you all coming together this morning. And finally, a big thank you to all donors and supporters for your donations to the BSV MBM community and this, and this project. We are very grateful to you for your kindness and generosity. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu to all venerables and every one of you. This morning rope offering ceremony will now end for those watching on the YouTube channel. Unfortunately, we apologize for that. We thank you for your attendance this morning ceremony. Due to the Zoom technical process requirement, we can only facilitate the remaining activities for those attendees who have acquired a Zoom access link when they have registered online, either for the one-to-one -one offering, monastic or the Q&A session. Thank you once again for your support, and we will see you again in the next MBM Dharma Talk event.